Do you mind saying how old you were when you were born? How old I was when well, I was... Well, no, how old you are now and when you uh, No, born. I'm 77. I was born in uh, December of 1898. How long have you been in Lycia? I never understand what that means, because as far as I'm concerned, I was born that way. From the family point of view, we had all the difficulties of survival and a di when we left England and came to Canada. And the difficulties of survival in a, in a difficult climate, under, the, under the poverty conditions. There are things you don't worry about until you've solved a few of those problems. I've always th thought of my basic commitments, uh, other than us to, um, to say to women, to, to uh, my work, to writing, to poetry, to doing uh, what it was in me to do as a creative person. If there was a problem uh, connected with my temperament of being lesbian, before and even after I became aware of um, its connotations was the loneliness. <laughs> Also, you were worried how we'd use you in the film? Well, you see, when somebody has a preconceived structure into which they want to fit you, which, I mean, with all due credit and everything else, that is precisely what you were asking me to do. You wanted to fit me into a structure which you have, just as if I'm writing a novel or you're writing a novel, we use our characters that way. We want to fit them into the structure mm -hmm. we have for this mm -hmm. work of art. And I understand your point of view in this, you have a structure and you want to fit your characters into it. But this happens to be a character that doesn't want to be pushed around or put into a context where mm. she doesn't feel that it's true to her. I'm glad I'm a lesbian. I feel complete because I'm utilizing what society characterizes as the male and the female elements in character. I feel that I have a portion of each. I've said, yes, there's such a thing as a lesbian personality, and I believe it's what I have and was born with. Well, having, having said that, let's take it for granted and go on from there and live our lives. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. It's all so out and out, up right. front, everyday Taking assertiveness of, of your own womanness, and if that means, in my case particularly, a certain that's appearance of aggression, then, then right don't on. don't you think an awful lot of this aggression is um, without any sort of aim or direction? It's just an Among emotional... Among a lot of women, yes. It's, it's, it's just an emotional... Uh, but if it helps them... It's probably necessary. I know, I went through a period of being really angry and yeah. giving the finger to men in the street. Really? And, yeah, and, and <laughs> you don't look like that. Yeah, <laughs> but I did it. For a couple of years, and then I, what did it do? Got it out. What did it do for you? I feel much better. <laughs> no, and I think it really did help, and it does help people to mm -hmm. let all that anger out. It's building up over the years, and and I think that it's important just to change the entire image. You know, I'm my own image of of I am my own heroine in a sense. Finally, I've come to a point where I'm who I want to be. Right. Well, I wish that when I was 16, I could have met myself right. somewhere. You know. Yes, there's always been a, a rather deep sense of aloneness, even in, even in love. Maybe it's just my temperament. But on the other hand, I've had endless friends, I must say, and beautiful friends and loving friends, but uh, there always seems to be an area where you don't touch. Do you think that's a choice of yours, or is it just a condition? A choice? No, I think it's temperament. I don't know whether it's choice or not. What do you think? I'm not sure. I, uh, I can't imagine how it would be otherwise. I think I've always had a rather deep sense of the uh, solitude of the individual in the cosmos. Uh, I, f I have felt probably less alone in nature and with nature than at any other time. I tend to feel alone and separate in crowds.